Hey, welcome back to the channel. Sam here from High Life Campers. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be walking around uh, our latest VW camper, which we're gonna be uh, handing over to the customer uh, at the back end of next week. And this particular base vehicle we bought from VW about a month ago, uh, and we actually sold the van as a base vehicle with our platinum conversion package. And we'd actually chosen most of the spec on this particular camper uh, when Lee decided to buy uh, the base vehicle plus the conversion package. Uh, we have made a couple of changes for Lee, where we've changed the timbre door uh, from a silver timbre to a wooden timbre. Uh, but everything else we've actually specced on this van, and I think you're gonna like this. This is a really, really good looking camper. Um, so as I walk around the outside of the van, as usual, I'll talk about the base vehicle, talk about the actual spec uh, of the van itself and then we'll jump in the back of the camper and I'll talk through all the spec uh, inside the van as well. So let's get started with the walk around. Okay here we are so this is a VW T6.1 okay it's on a 2022 plate so it's just about a year old. The mileage on the van is around 7,000 miles so it's really really low miles. The model is a Highline so it's got all the latest tech and features inside the van which I'll talk through uh, in a few moments. Now this van is a five-speed manual gearbox with 110 horsepower and as I said we've actually uh, put the platinum package on this van uh, so if I just walk around it and just show you uh, what it looks like. So the colour of this van is called Ascot Grey and this is actually the first Ascot Grey van that we've converted uh, and a lot of people really like this colour, it's a really popular colour uh, and it's actually quite a new colour to VW, um, they only started doing this colour uh, on the T6.1 so you couldn't get the old T6 uh, in this colour so it's a little bit harder to find the Ascot Grey on, with the right spec but I think they look absolutely amazing when they've been converted once you've got all the contrast of the black wheels and the trim. So as part of the Platinum package, we've fitted the 20 inch uh, Wolf Race alloys, the uh, jet black alloys. Uh, we've lowered the van by uh, 40 millimeters just to give it a slightly lower look. We've fitted the matte black uh, side steps there on the side. And then we've also put the uh, color coded uh, spoiler on the back. This is obviously a tailgate van as well, which tends to be quite desirable for most of our customers. And then as part of the platinum package, we've also fitted the uh, Remo awning rail, which runs all the way down uh, the passenger side of the van there. And that will fit most awnings uh, and canopies. And then on this van, we've fitted a black scenic canvas. Okay, so that canvas pulls right back, ties back, uh, so you can open the full roof up. And when you're in a really nice spot like this, you get an amazing view uh, lying in your bed up there, which is really great. And then you've got the black roof top as well. Uh, so I think with the black, uh, with the windows in here now, the black windows all round, uh, the black wheels, the black trim, uh, and that black roof. I think this really looks great on the uh, Ascot Grey van. Uh, so again, please let us know what you think to this spec. Do you like the Ascot Grey? Do you like it with the black wheels and all the black trim? Uh, please do put uh, your thoughts in the comments uh, below. It's really helpful. And as I said, this is the first Ascot Grey one we've done, but we are looking at buying some more Ascot Grey vans. So if you do want this colour camper with a, a similar spec, uh, just get in touch with us. Just send us a message through our website, highlifecampers.co.uk, and we can help you through our source and convert service. Uh, where we'll go and actually find uh, the right base vehicle for you uh, and then work with you to uh, choose all the spec and the extras uh, on the camper. So what I'll do now is I'll just jump in the driver's area quickly just to show you the driver's area and then we'll get in the back uh, and look at the uh, full conversion. Okay, here we are. So as I said, this is the Highline model. So it's got all the uh, tech uh, on this van. It's got the adaptive cruise control. Uh, it's got the air conditioning. It's got the heated front screen, uh, the multifunctional steering wheel with Bluetooth. It's also got App Connect on here, so you can connect your phone to this and have the maps and music and everything on the main 6.5-inch uh, screen. Because it's the T6.1, you get that sort of slightly updated dashboard, uh, which is a bit different to the T6, which looks really nice. Uh, and the T6.1 vans do drive really, really well. They're very light on the steering, really easy to drive. It's a, a bit like driving a Golf, really. It's really a really nice van to drive. Um, and then on this van, we've actually kept the double seat, so it's, had a, it's got a double passenger seat. Uh, which is on a swivel which you'll see in a minute obviously we've, we've upholstered uh, the driver's seat and the passenger seat to match the rock and roll bed uh, and this upholstery is our black schwartz upholstery and it's had a very very light brown sort of verging on gold stitching uh, and vw logos and i really do like this kind of brownie gold stitching in this black schwartz upholstery uh, so again this is the first time we've done this particular combination uh, so i'd love to know what your thoughts are on this upholstery and the colors uh, just give us your feedback in the comments below. So as I said, the van's with about 7,000 miles. It's got two years VW warranty uh, because it's a VW approved base vehicle. Uh, and it's got obviously got full service history with, uh, with VW as well. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly open the boot for you just to show you the back of the van as well. Okay, here we are. So this is the back of the rock and roll bed. Now, most of our vans do have rock and roll beds in a standard. Uh, most of our customers are uh, happy with the rock and roll beds. Uh, if you did want a rib bed set up, we can do a rib bed set up. Uh, it does cost a little bit more to upholster the bed and the bed frame's a little bit more expensive. Uh, so it is a bit of an extra on top of the package, but we can fit a rib bed if you would rather that. 
So obviously this is the back of the, the rock and roll bed. You've got a nice big cupboard at the back here. You've lots of storage space in there, which goes right to the front of the bed. And then you've got the back of the wardrobe there, which is a decent sized cupboard. Uh, and then also uh, a little cupboard down there uh, where we keep the leisure battery. And I think a lot of people like the tailgate just because if it's raining and you're getting things out the back, you can, you've got a bit of a shelter at the back there. So tailgate tends to be what most people want. Okay, so what I'll do now then is I'll jump in the back of the camper and I'll talk through all the spec and the colors and everything that we've chosen for this camper. Okay, so here we are. So what I'll do is I'll just talk through the color uh, choices first, uh, and then I'll talk through what comes with the uh, platinum package inside. Uh, so the, the colour of the furniture units in this van is called cashmere. Uh, we have used cashmere a few times. Um, again, on the camera, it always looks a bit lighter than it actually is. Uh, but if I get a bit lower, it might be, you might be able to see the colour. So it's a slight kind of off, sort of a very light brown colour, beigey colour. But it does look really nice in the flesh. It's just sometimes hard to uh, portray it properly on a video. So the furniture is called cashmere. It's got dark grey trim uh, around the doors. And then you've got silver metalwork, so silver handles and then silver trim on the side of the wardrobe there. And then we've put solid oak worktops uh, and table in this camper. Uh, most of our customers really like the solid oak, but we have got a much bigger choice of, of worktops, uh, gloss worktops and things like that, and you can choose lots of different colours. And as I said before, this uh, upholstery is called Schwartz, so it's a very, very dark grey, uh, verging on being black, really. It's a very, very dark grey uh, with the light brown uh, stitching and VW logos. Uh, and then we fitted the wooden timbre on this van. Uh, we've done a few vans with the wooden timbre. There is a choice of colours. We usually use silver, which is like a silvery grey colour. Uh, but we do like this wooden timbre as it, match it kind of matches the uh, solid oak worktops. And then because the van's had the platinum, it's got the uh, van shades blinds on all the windows. And this colour is called Raven. Okay, so you've got one above the kitchen, you've got one on the back tailgate window, and then you've got uh, blinds on both the windows at this side as well. Uh, and these blinds are great, they really do uh, improve the look inside the van. I think it's much better than the curtains. Uh, so that's why most people go for our platinum package. And then again, we've got the diesel heater fitted. So you, you'll see the little red uh, dial there. Uh, that turns the diesel heater on and then the heat comes out of that little vent there behind the driver's seat. And then the table here is detachable. So it attaches to that bar and then you can uh, obviously detach that and it stows away uh, very neatly just behind the driver's seat. There's a little clip behind there and it just tucks away there. And then you've got a Dometic fridge with a nice uh, freezer compartment, a cutlery drawer, and then you've got the double gas burner and the cold running water sink. And then your gas and water are stowed away under the, uh, under the kitchen area there. And then the, obviously the cupboard at the back there the, with the timbre, that's a really nice size uh, wardrobe in there uh, to put clothes and, and you know, store other things in there. And then you've got the rock and roll bed, which just lies flat. It's really easy to use. You just pull the handle there, the little black handle, and pull it towards you and it, it just pulls flat. And then once you've got one of our mattresses on there, it's a really comfortable bed uh, to use. And then of course, you've got the uh, double bed at the top here. You've got a nice thick ply uh, bed board up there, which will easily take uh, two large adults. And uh, that just pulls down on the gas struts. Uh, and then again, you've got the scenic canvas, which opens the roof right up, which I think is a really, really nice extra. And then we put a sliding swivel on this seat. Okay, so on the double, if you go for a double seat uh, and we fit the swivel, we actually, this is on a sliding mechanism. So this just pulls right out and it means you can get right up to the table at the back. So if you go for a single seat with a swivel, uh, although the seat turns round, it, it does stay in the same position. It has to stay back in its position. Whereas with the double, you do get to pull that right up to the table so that you can all sit together uh, and eat in the back, which I think is a big bonus of the double seat. Plus you also get um, storage in, in the double seat. So if you just open, you can actually open that up and you've got a nice big storage space inside the double, which of course you don't get that uh, in the single seat either. Um, but if you would prefer a single seat in one of our vans or one that we source for you, and it's got a double, we can swap out that uh, double for a single, uh, put a captain's driver's seat in there and upholster it for you. Uh, there is a cost involved with that because we have to go and buy the seat. And unfortunately, single passenger seats are not cheap. Uh, they are expensive because they are in demand, uh, but we can do that if you want that. All right, so I'll just hop in the back of the van and just show you the view from the rear of the van. Okay, here we are. So let us know what you think to this spec. We always like to get feedback on the spec and the colours that we've chosen or, you know, our customers have chosen. Uh, so just feel free to put a comment in the uh, comment section below this video on YouTube and tell us what you think to the blinds and, and the cashmere units and, and you know, everything else in the back here. And then with regards to the electric, you've got the power panel at the top there. So that turns on the power for the um, leisure battery. And then you can also turn your lights on here. So you've got three lights uh, spotlights uh, on the passenger side along here, which is a really nice light. And then you've also got a strip light just above the kitchen there, which really nicely lights up the kitchen area. So at night time, it looks really nice with these spots on uh, and that strip light above the kitchen. As well. So I'll just sit on the passenger seat now and show you the view of the back of the van. Uh, 
So as you can see, you can pull this seat right up to the table, which means you can all sit together. It's a bit more intimate in the back here. Uh, and then this carpet color is called smoke. So it's a slightly lighter gray. We do a dark gray called anthracite, and this is the smoke, which is just slightly lighter. And I think if you've got dark upholstery, having that lighter carpet just lightens up the back of the van a little bit. And then if I just pull the bedboard down, I'll just show you the bed as well. So these are on gas trucks. So you just grab the bedboard, just pull that down. And then you've got a nice big uh, double bed space here. And we've actually had a mattress designed specifically for uh, the short wheelbase pop top roof, specifically for the West Dubs roofs. Uh, we only use West Dubs roofs because they're really, really good quality. Uh, five year warranty and we never have any problems with these roofs. So if you're interested in having a pop top mattress which can stay in the roof and be stored up here, it's only five centimetres in depth and it fits a short wheelbase pop top roof perfectly, then you can buy one from our online shop which is highlifecampers.com. Uh, I'll put the uh, domain name on the screen now. Uh, and that mattress will fit perfectly in here and then you can lift this bed board up with the mattress in and it can stow away up there. And then the mattress also fits the rock and roll bed uh, perfectly as well. Uh, so you don't need to store the mattress anywhere, it just tucks away up there. And let's have a quick look at the driver's area from above. Okay, so you can see the, obviously the upholstery is all matching uh, the rock and roll bed. And I think the T6.1 cockpit looks really nice and you've got all the mod cons, all the tech that you want on here. So if you're used to driving a modern car, then you will definitely enjoy driving a T6.1 transporter. Uh, they're really really nice to drive and as you can see they look really nice okay so that's it for my little walk around this amazing camper i hope you like it and i'd really love to get your feedback so please do let us know what you think to the color of the van and the interior spec that we've chosen for this camper uh, just put them in the comment section below and if you've not already subscribed to our youtube channel make sure you do that because if you are in the market for a vw camper uh, in the next few months then we do share a lot of videos on youtube uh, answering a lot of common questions that newbies have when they're looking at or doing the research uh, about a camper we've got about 90 videos now on our youtube channel and we've probably covered most of the questions that you've got so make sure you subscribe because we also do share all the walkarounds of the base vehicles we're getting in stock as well as all the finished campers as well and if you are in the market for a vw camper either this year or early next year we do have three amazing base vehicles that we've just got in stock now uh, ready for conversion so whoever buys these base vehicles gets to choose all the colors of the roof the flooring the upholstery the furniture uh, the alloy wheels and, and also any extras that you want and these are all VW approved base vehicles they're all 22 plates they're all very low miles uh, in very nice colours so all you need to do is go to our website which is highlifecampers.co.uk and all the details of all of those base vehicles are all on the website so make sure you check those out uh, and if you've got any questions or you want to have a chat on the phone uh, just head over to our inquiry page on the website uh, send us a message and we can maybe arrange a phone call okay so that's it for this video if you've got value from this and you've enjoyed the content please also uh, consider hitting that like button because that's the best way of helping us and supporting our channel and i will see you in the next video speak soon